Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I'm Tanisa and today's video is a scripting success story where I will share with you exactly what I wrote down in my journal book to manifest something that I really, really needed to happen and it came true. It worked. It manifested. But before we start, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I put out new videos. I'm a little bit embarrassed to mention this, but it's all part of, you know, my scripting success story and I want to be transparent and be honest and share with you guys. So I was really, really behind on my student loans, five months behind to be exact. And up until a few weeks ago, I was also behind on my car note. So I was six weeks behind on paying my car note. So behind on my student loans and behind on my car note. But I remember I started this journal on August 29th, 2019. And I first mentioned about wanting to get current on my student loans. Um, I mentioned it down here. I mean, you can't see it, but the date I put on there was November 6th, 2019. So I started writing more in my journal book. And the next time I started to mention about getting current on my student loans was on November 18th, 2019. So let me go ahead and read the first couple of sentences to you. So November 18th, 2019, I am so happy and grateful for the fact that I am now current on all my student loans and bills. So I didn't mention about the car yet because I wasn't late yet. Now I should talk about how I manifested my roommate because again, for the rest of this journal from when I did that first entry about the student loans, I talked about how I needed a roommate and how I was happy and grateful that I had a roommate. But the reason why I want to talk about the student loans because it's going to wow you, just hold on, it's going to amaze you. But every little entry here and there, I did write a sentence about being current on all my student loans and bills. But for the most part, it focused on getting a roommate, which I did get. This book was done, moving on to my next book. And what's the very first journal entry? Now I mentioned in my previous video that I don't write the dates anymore on my journal entries, but I did write the date. It's February 28, 2020. And I started out with Dear Universe. So I said, Dear Universe, I am so happy and grateful for the fact that I am now current on all my student loans, bills, and car note. So I was already late with the car by this time. So I wrote it three times because at that point I was really, really stressing. So how did I get current on all my student loans, bills, and car notes so fast? And I wrote a question mark. So I guess from watching this other video, it talked about asking your subconscious mind of question of like, how did I do this? How was I able to accomplish that? That way the subconscious mind could get busy working on it. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I wrote. And I wrote that three times as well. So for this journal entry, um, I pretty much just repeated that, you know, I'm so happy and grateful being current on all my student loans, bills, and car note, and asking myself the question, how did I get current on all my student loans, bills, and car note? So that was that first entry there, but what I wanted to note was the date, February 28, 2020. So another journal entry, I am so happy and grateful for the fact that I am now current on all my student loans, bills, and car note. Now here's some, the feeling part. I love being able to pay for my financial responsibilities on time with ease. I appreciate the fact that taking out student loans has helped me to get an education and helped me to move to California. I have always wanted to move to California because it was my dream and goal to always work in the film industry. So this is stuff that I was writing down in my journal book. So again, if you didn't check out my previous video, Manifesting with Scripting to Get Results, do be sure to check that out because I go over the steps of how you can manifest the get results. Now again, some days I would script just writing in my journal overall, but that's okay because I think that's really important to do because that helps with letting go. So I didn't stress about getting current on all my student loans and bills, but I did do a journal entry where I vented because I wasn't seeing results and I didn't know how I was going to get current on all my student loans, bills, and car note. Like, how was I going to get current on there? There was no way. And when I say there was no way, I could not see how. But again, the how part is not our business. Remember that. The how part is not our business. We have to leave that up to the universe. But the craziest thing, during the filming of this video, I am currently in the middle of a lockdown. I live in California. Why? Because of COVID-19, the coronavirus that happened in 2020, in case you're watching this, you know, a few months or a couple of years later. So we have been on a lockdown in California since March 19th, 2020. 
Do you want to know when I got current on all my student loans, bills, and car note? Two weeks after we went on a lockdown because millions and millions of people were falling so behind on their bills, their credit cards, their student loans, their car note. I called up my car company and asked, is there anything that they could do about, you know, maybe helping me with the payments because I'm six weeks behind? Don't you know? They said, sure, no problem. And my next payment wasn't, it isn't due at this time of this filming because it's still April until July, 2020. Then with my student loans, I finally mustered up the courage to give them a call to figure out what can be done about my student loans. Every single one brought my account current. The due payment is zero. None of those back payments because I was scripting that I got caught up on all my back payments and current on all my student loans. It all was brought to zero. So what I owed, my balance was zero. I mean, I still owe student loans, but the back payment was caught up. And I'm in forbearance currently on all my student loans and they're not due until July. So I'm scripting now about having these student loans paid off, but it worked. What I'm writing now in my journal is staying current on all my student loans, bills, and car note and paying off my student loans and my car note. The car note is the next thing that I'm working on. Again, towards the end, I just talked about getting a roommate and I got the roommate, only took about two months for that to manifest. Getting current on my student loans, bills, and car note, that took about four months, so it works. So scripting works. So if you never tried it before, I highly recommend that you give it a try. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.